COVID-19 is the biggest problem in the world right now. It's had a major effect on everyone's lives, including workers. A lot of workers have either had to stay inside and be furloughed, or have had to work through the pandemic. Today, I will be talking to a worker who has had to work all the way through the first lockdown and the second. How has the pandemic affected your time at work? It hasn't really affected my time at work really because I've actually worked all the way through since the beginning. Um, so it hasn't really affected me in a sense, only for the fact that, you know, we can't, we, we have to do a lot more restrictions as in, you know, around the workplace, all the sanitising and everything else, you know, and wearing masks all the time all around work. And so, yeah, that's the only thing that's really affected it, not so much as, as me doing my job. It's just the things that we have to do now from what we used to do. Being a key worker, Samantha has to catch the bus every day to go to work and that involves going through Birmingham City Centre and Birmingham City Centre now is as empty as ever. Even the buses are so empty. This is the effect that the coronavirus has had not just on her but on all of us as well. Have you ever been or even worried about being in furlough? Yeah our company did uh, put a lot of the staff in furlough um, but fortunately for me, I carried on. I was one of the skeleton staff that had to keep everything going. But the actual other half of the, the workforce did get furloughed. Um, but, you know, it's a good thing they are all back now. Uh, but I did worry about it, obviously, because I'm the same as, it, as everybody else. We've all got bills to pay, you know, and it's less money. And So, yeah, I was a bit worried, to be honest. Have you had worries that, that your place of work has po had possibilities of closure? No, not really. Only if the government wanted to, everybody to close down. But fortunately for us, we're like a, a safety company where we do a lot of uh, safety equipment. So we was really like classed as a key worker. So we 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 was quite uh, good that we could carry on, even though we had to, you know, put a few of the staff on short time. But at least we could carry on and you know keep the keep the company running the best we could. But it's not just factory workers who are key workers. You also have supermarkets like Morrison's, Tesco, Aldi, Sainsbury's. It's their job to make sure that people are fed and looked after. While other places, non-essential shops have had to shut down and people who have worked there have been furloughed. If you wish to know more about the furlough scheme and understand it better, go to the BBC website. That's www.bbc.com.